Well, hello! Welcome back to the channel. And here we are again, yet again, with another season of the Cup Races. And the TV recap, of course. Here we have it. A little bit of an upgrade. Another little bit of an upgrade. Small minor upgrades. A little bit of an upgrade over here as well. Take a look at that logo. Thanks to Paul GT3. Perfect. And, 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 and another upgrade we have. I'm going to show you soon. Well, we don't have to show it right now because it's unnecessary. Else you would know things you shouldn't know yet. But welcome back to the TV, TV recaps. And this is going to be season number three. And we're going to uh, watch the first and the second race of this season. We're going to be 12 ra races in total. So this is number one and number two. Raced on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. GTM plus one. So, yeah. Greenwich Mean Time plus one. Format is simple. Format is um, two races of 20 minutes. We'll calculate how many minutes it would take to drive at least 20 minutes. And then we set a certain amount of laps. The first race, we're going to race with the racing mediums. The second race, we're going to race with the racing softs. There is no uh, tire wear. There's no fuel rate. So it's absolutely flat out. That's why it's called the Sprint Cup. Uh, duh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, good. Got an idea system? No, not yet. It's disgusting! <laughs> but, 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 but. We got a new Sprint Cup um, car. And it's... It is a Group 4 car. It is one of the best you can ask for with handling out of the, all the Group 4s. This one can understeer, oversteer, and you can drive really close with it. It's absolutely ridiculously exciting. But I can tell you up front right now, the races. My God, what are two races we had. <laughs> Chaos everywhere. Chaos everywhere. And guess what? First two races of the season are held at Dragon Trail Seaside. And you know what that means. The chicane of... Ah, oh, fuck. It's not in here. <laughs> well, too bad. The chicane of... Yeah, death. Absolute death. So that's why you could see the Grim Reaper in the thumbnail. So yeah, not much further to explain. Group 4 car, Toyota, uh, the Toyota Group 4. And it's on Dragon Trail Seaside. You know the format, two races, 20 minutes. Let's get you into this and let's run you through the qualifying order. And let's say that again. We got the chicane off. No! Yep, that one. <laughs> Yeah, I like my new toys. But we're going to run you through the order because, first of all, we're going to show you who's on pole position and guess who's back. Yes, it's him in the flash. It is our Kevin C. He's on pole position. Yes, it's pole position. Yes. <laughs> he's done it he's done it yeah unfortunately I do not have that button but hmm. now of course with new seasons there's no introduction needed for who has the most points and who has the least everybody starts on zero no shit Sherlock yeah <laughs> <laughs> boy in second place we have Monik uh, Monik uh, finished, I believe, third in last season. Yes, he finished third in last season. Kevin C. didn't uh, competed, I believe, in the first two or three events and quitted after that. 
but he's back as I said and immediately on pole position so that's going to be a nice one for this season and as I said Monik in second then we have Ono uh, f- uh, champion of the first season and uh, runner up of the season number two and right now we're starting season number three and take a look at that what he's got up the, at the rear <laughs> on his rear bumper in purple letters oh that's going to be naughty 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 and probably monic wants to did i send it or did i don't did it send it on him <laughs> then we have rick 47 he starts fourth in this race and is our current champion current champion reigning world champion nearly always forget that one he starts in fourth then we have quinn starting in fifth most of the time he cannot compete with the cup races but this time he could um <clears throat> so he didn't end very high up in the standings last season but he starts well he's absolutely ridiculously quick because we do breakdowns with him and you can check that out as well we're gonna do that from um next week on yet again the breakdowns of daily race c or daily race b and then you can see um how quick this guy is most likely it's going to be him sometimes it's going to be monic or semi or somebody else uh but he starts in fifth absolutely ridiculously quick as well but same as the other four guys in front of him then we have hugo uh third uh guy from last season absolutely ridiculously quick as well in his Hugo Boss RTW livery again. Then we have Tamil in 7th. And then Coristus in 8th. In a Chrome Supra. <laughs> With an Agora Povich on it. Oh. But yeah. Agora Povich. Then we have Shaori, uh, reigning world of The reigning champion of season number 2 in Group B. Uh, promoted to Group A. Starting in 9th. Then we have Jopodex in 10th. Then we have Jaden, me, myself and I in 11th. Absolutely shitty qualifying. Could have done way better, but yeah, who couldn't, right? Then we have D the Fizzer. He promoted to Group A as well, uh, but better set. He swapped places with Gerald Walters, the founder of Race Team Walters. Go follow us. There you can see it on top. Yeah. On the top, in the middle, race team Walters. Follow us on Instagram, uh, as I said, Instagram over here for Walters. Then we have me, myself, and I over here, and here on YouTube. Go follow us. Go see it. Do it. And then we have concrete tile, or in Dutch beton tegel. And number thirteen, and those are our thirteen competitors for this race and yeah we got everything on we got it set we got it ready we don't need any further introductions wow that only took me 11 minutes so far that's a new one (laughs) let's put the game volume up let's keep everything checked We're going to need the headset. And now we're going to shout two hours into a microphone. Uh huh. <coughs> so bear with me. We're nearly ready. Take a look at that glare. Why? Why? That's not necessary. But okay. Hope you can hear me better than normal. I believe it's okay, right? No! <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <clears throat> are we gonna race or? Honestly, what are we doing? Racing or big block? Nora! <coughs> Here we're gonna go! And we're gonna start this shit show. 
Yeah, boy. Hmm, wait a second. Yet again, that same problem, right? Why? Why is that? It shuts down half the screen at the bottom. Good. No, not good. Still not good. Why not? Why are you doing this to me? Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? No, nope, not good as well, not good as well. Put down another. Okay, we're just simply going to move it to make sure we can see a bit more. Aye, aye, aye. This is not the first time. Is it too wide as well? Yeah, we can adjust it a bit. There we go again with the fucking sight. Ah. Okay, never mind. We're going to keep it this way. Oh, everything looks fucking stretched out. It's not correct. I hate this. I seriously hate this. Why does it do that? <clears throat> I need to reset everything. Seriously. Ay, 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 ay. Cool of a match. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to work. Mm -hmm. It's still stretched out. Why does it do this to me? I caught of a still not good, right? Do not know what to do with this. Why doesn't it want to do what I want to, to do? Why? Why? Still stretched out. Uh. 
And I want a game capture like that at another source. Video capture device, screen capture. That's the one I want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. to this one mm -hmm. takes forever to do this of course really sorry about this guys mm -hmm. looks a bit better but mm -hmm. is it better it is good finally stretch it a little bit more mm -hmm. tiny tap more beep, beep. there we go that's what I like Good. Lock this in place. Mm -hmm. Finally! Oh, I had an intro of 10 minutes and it took me another 10 minutes to fucking... Mm. Ah. Let's go! Here we're gonna go with race number one. Time for the chaos. Definitely, Monik. Are you ready? No! <laughs> did I send it or did I not did it send it? Okay. Here we're gonna go in three, two, one, go! Everybody good off the line, here we're gonna go, we're gonna see Kevin C still on the lead and this car is absolutely slow off the line, so nobody would gain it from anybody or any Everybody except Slipstream. Here we're gonna go into the first kink and then into the first chicane out of the tree. And is anybody gonna hit anybody here? They're gonna go side by side, uh, side by left, left by side. And here we go. Uh, Rick Bob 47 is already no, it's still in number four, but next to Arno. And who can overtake him? And we have Kevin C and Monica in the lead by now. Kevin C in second place. Rick Bob 47 and Arno uh, dropped all the way back to third. Here we have Rick Bob 47. Uh, got challenged by Hugo into the fourth corner. Or the fourth, let's call it the fourth kink. Whatever. Who gives a shit? And nobody crashed so far, but there were a lot of chains of places and so far we have Marnik in the lead Kevin C in second then we have Arno in third then we have Rickwood 47 in fourth then we have Hugo in fifth and here they're challenging Hugo and Rickwood 47 next to, next to each other in the sweepers is anybody going to gain from that? Here we have Hugo of uh, Quinn challenging Hugo right now and they're going to go three wide into the tight hairpin at the bottom just before the Dutch chicane and can I see a fight further up front as well yes there was a fight between Kevin C and Marnik but didn't end up in an overtake and we have Quinn on the inside of Hugo fighting for place number five here he comes oh into the Dutch chicane is that possible who's gonna lift up first it's gonna be Hugo and is there gonna be any shenanigans is anybody gonna crash over here in the Dutch chicane is the first time we're gonna cross here and I can't see any death so far but I can hear tire squeals Tamil goes wide over there oh my god Oh, and everybody's kicking off left, right, and center. Here comes Jaden towards the mill. And is that going to end up well? And they're going to go side by side here to the the, the hairpin at the bottom. And then we have Kevin Zini. Oh, no, Rick Wolf 47. And then we have Chris, Rick Wolf of Chris that's going wide over there. Got pushed wide by Jaden. I know that because of that. It's my, me and myself and I. And there we have all the chaos part. <sighs> it's that replay! First of all, let's get back to the start. Because this was way too much in one lap to handle. And I wasn't prepared. <laughs> God damn it. Too much to shit to focus on. Let's see from the perspective of Arno. Well, Arno started third. I thought he started first, but that was Kevin C, of course. He came back with vengeance on pole position. Here we have it. Everybody starts just about the same. Because this car, you can go off the line, full throttle. 
Here we have Marnik and Kevin C next to each other into the first corner. Arnold tries to take the best line possible. And let's see how Marnik and Kevin C pen it out. Marnik breaked a little bit early. Kevin C went a little bit wide. And that's how Marnik got the lead on the outside with the old switcheroo. Perfectly executed. Now let's continue over here with Rick 147. He's on the outside of Arno into the third corner it is. No, it's the fourth corner officially, I believe. And this is going to be corner number five. And as we can see, here comes a dive bomb from Hugo on the inside of the th uh, fifth corner. The first hairpin, fifth corner. Yes? Okay. Let's keep it that way. And Hugo probably is going to say... Did I send it or did I not did it send it? Yes, you did. Okay, okay, good. And right now they're going to go side by side, but we're going to go on board with Quinn, because Quinn nearly made the overtake stick as well. Let's see a little bit further behind as well. No further overtakes over there. Somebody's pushing somebody, but here we can see Rickman 47 fighting in the sweepers. And that gives Quinn the opportunity to close up and pulls alongside over here. Gets into the slipstream of Rickman 47, pulls out on the side, and they're going to go three wide into the th second hairpin over here and as you can see uh, Kevin C trying to fight for the first place as well together with uh, Marnik but Quinn gains a place uh, compared to Hugo and here we have the battle between Coristas and Tamil and behind that Jaden let's follow this closely from the perspective of Shouty our reigning world of a reigning champion whoa and that is the uh, big slight on the wall of Tamil he went a little bit wide, and here we have Shouty in the sandwich of Tamil and Jaden for a little bit. And Shouty is thinking of a move, and there it goes Jaden. Jaden goes way too deep, and he hits Coristas along the rear. And this is where we left off. Let's see what happens over here. It's a group of four, five cars, five cars really close together. Let's look a little bit further up front as well. If there's going to be any overtakes, yes, there is an overtake of Quinn, of Hugo on Quinn. And then we have Rick 47. First of all, let's see the lead. Here comes Kevin C. Into the first chicane. And on the outside of Marek. Marek defends perfectly. And he cannot do the world switch. Or can he? Or can he not? Let's see it further on. Oh, and he pushes him a little bit wide. And here comes Kevin C. And it's going to be the right hand and axe. But Kevin C overtakes uh, Marek for the lead. He's in the lead right now. Marnik is in second. Arno is in third. Then we have Rickwood 47 closing up yet again because of the fighting further up front. Oh, there's a big wiggle 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 from Kevin Z over there. It's going to give Marnik the opportunity to come up of the close up for first place into the sweepers. Is that possible? Oh, a little bit of a push over there. Whoa. And Marnik grinds the curbs and tries to take the best line possible to gain as much over there as possible. Here they're going to go. Four. Four. Single file. <laughs> Towards the second hairpin on this circuit. And they're going to go three wide. On off. Marnik is all the way on the outside over there. Into the inside of, uh, of Kevin C. Kevin C is going to do the old switcheroo over there. Minor goodness. Four wide out of that corner. How is it possible that nobody crashed so far? Holy shit. Balls of fire. Take a look at this. Minor goodness. And side by side into the, uh, into the that chicane. Oh, and Kevin C is still in the lead. The break 147. Oh, and he crashes into the that chicane. And he's going to be the first real victim of the that chicane. Ay, 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 mine good. That was ridiculous. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know which, <laughs> which button to use. Ah. Disgusting! <laughs> oh, it's the replay! Back, 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 get back, get back, get back, 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 get back. Ay, 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 it all started on the straight over here. We have Hugo and Quint fighting for four, blah, 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 fifth place. Then we have Rick 147, still a little bit further back from the top three. Oh no, Kevin C and Marnik. Let's go a little bit further back because it all started coming out of this corner. Uh, let's follow. Let's go chase Camp Few with Arno. And from time to time, look back. Here they're going to go into the slipstream battle. Kevin C pulls out of the slipstream of Marnik. And. That's the inside for this kink, but it's going to be the outside for the chicane. And Marduk breaks just at the perfect moment. Kevin C cannot really profit of that. Tries the old switcheroo on the outside. Performs it, by the way. Sorry. Excuse me. And here he comes. He's in the lead right now. And then I go there. They're going to go in single file again through this corner into the second hairpin of the first hairpin, I must say. And Kevin C drives a little bit wide over there. And that's going to give Marnik the opportunity to go to the outside into this kink. But it's going to be the outside for the next corner. The real corner. Marnik tries to cut back. 
at the rear of Kevin C and all this fighting, as you can see, let's uh, Rick 47 close up. And here they're gonna go. Four white on the straight right now. Well, nearly four white, three white. Marnik is even on the grass over there. Goes a little bit deep, as you can see. He outbreaks himself. Kevin C does the old cut back, old switcheroo. Pushes Hano a little bit wide over there. Rick 47 can profit of that. And here you can see nearly four white. This is ridiculous to watch the chicane of death. You cannot do this. <laughs> Somebody's gonna die, and probably is gonna die, and we know is gonna die. So, Marnik backs out of it, thinks better of it, and Rick 47 thinks not better of it and says, uh, No way, I will go for it. Yes, I will. Did I send it or did I not did it send it? Mm hmm. <coughs> but. Otto um, lifts off the throttle as well to make sure Rick 147 and himself can take the second part of the dead chicane correctly. And as you can see right now, Rick 147 is just about going to spin out because he... I don't know why. Why did he spin out over there? Let's see his throttle trace, brake trace. Let's see it. What does he do? Does he lift out too much? Whoa! Did got he hit? Did he get hit from behind? But we must say, at this moment, <laughs> our first real victim, and as we can see, another victim, Coristus, runs into the uh, wall of the uh, the end of the wall of the dead chicane, and so did Beton Tegel. <laughs> Let's go a little bit further up front because we still have that fight and we still have to watch that other fight as well. It's done replay! Oh, Marnik lost out massively over there. We'll have to see that again. Uh, first of all, let's see with Marnik. Let's get a boat. Skip a little bit further. There we have the whole three of the quattro together. Lift it out. Thought better of it. Thought if somebody's going to crash, I'm going to drive through them. There was a little bit of a touch of all over there. Uh, whoa, yeah, okay. Wow. You didn't lose massively over here. You're in second. <laughs> Weird bump physics in this car. Well, I think that's net coding or the game itself. But we still have to see that fight between Caristus, Jadant, and Tamil. A full lap back. Oh, is that the start again? Yes, this is the start again. Skip, 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 it is skip, skip. Here we're gonna go. With the is the knife. There we can see that fight. Here we have Tamil and Caristus just behind Rick 147. Was it this lap? No, it wasn't this lap. Ah, yeah. Here we go. And we hit a huge bump into the wall. Who was that? Who hit the wall over there? Let's see that. Let's go a little bit further back. Was it Coristus? Was it Jadent? I don't know. Yes, it was Coristus who hit the wall over there. Oh, it was the Tamil as well. And let's see this battle between Coristus, Tamil, and Jadent. Let's get a boat with Jadent. Here he comes. Oh, let's get a boat with Shouty yet again. Yes, he went way too deep, Jadent over there. Pushed him a little bit wide. And as we can see, Yopodex closing up. Overdex Shouty is in the slipstream of Tamil over here. <coughs> And Jaden pushed Coristus absolutely wide. He's going to give the slipstream to Coristus to let him repass. How do you know? Because it's me. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Here he comes. Yeah, Yopa, this got to push a little bit wide over there. Yopa strikes to the inside of Coristus, but cannot do that. And he's on the inside of Jaden. And here they're going to come side by side out of the first chicane. And Yopa, runs a little bit wide over there. And somebody else went a little bit wide over there. That was Quinn. He nearly lost it. Coristus is back in seven. There we Jaden and eight. And Tamil in ninth. There we have Yopa, and Baton Tejo really close behind. And there we have Dita Fisser jumping all over the place. Whoa, nearly holding it. There was a shouty all the way back in 13. How the fuck did that happen? Now let's get all the way up front yet again to see that battle. And we saw this battle already <coughs> between these four guys. So we're going to follow these, uh, this group behind 
Crest is pulling a gap over Jaden and it's closing up to Quinn. Here they're going to come. Oh, he runs a little bit wide over there, holds it together. Jaden and Tamil fighting over eighth place. Here he comes. Tamil tries it on the outside into the app. And then, oh, there comes Corissus on Quinn. What a move. Or was that a legal move? Oh, and he runs into the ball. Holy shit, balls of fire. What the hell did he do over there? Wins the ripping. Let's get a ball with Caristus. Back, 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 get back, get back, get back, 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 get back. Here he comes. In the slipstream, goes a little bit wide over there, tries to keep it full throttle out of there. Is he gonna send a massive dive bomb onto Quinn? Yes, he does, and a obliterating dive bomb. Doesn't break, doesn't do anything, runs into the ball. Luckily, he does. But as you can see, Quinn is going to pass him, JD is going to pass him, Tamil is going to pass him, and he's all the way back in ninth yet again. And they're going to come all, uh, all together to the, that chicane. Oh, somebody's backwards here. That was pretty good for this. We saw that, of course, already. And the Corissus runs into the wall as well over there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Front bumper damage, left front suspension damage. Let's see. Rickman 47. Yes. Whoa, yes. Massive damage. Take a look at that. Front bumper damage, left front suspension damage, and engine damage. Wow. He cannot accelerate out of that corner any further anymore. But we'll have to continue with the lead yet again. Let's go a little bit further back. With it. <coughs> Just to make sure how we ended as we started. Because we had that crash, of course, of Rick Bob 47. In the second lap in the dead chicane. Here he comes. Boof. Bye-bye. Swai, swai. Now we have Ono in the lead. Monik in second. Kevin C in third. And Kevin C had a slow exit as well. He has front bumper damage and left front suspension and right front suspension damage. And he tries to take the move or tries to do the move back on Hugo, but Hugo has a functional car. And Kevin C does not. Then we have Quinn still in fifth. And then we have Tamil in sixth right now. Jaden in seventh. Right behind Tamil. They're in the slipstream battle, but let's go a little bit further up front. Let's stick with this battle first. Then we have Arno in first. And uh, Marnik in second. Then we have Hugo in fourth. Uh, Kevin C. If we get third. Uh, Kevin C. in fourth. Quinn in fifth. Then we have Tamila sixth. Jaded the fifth. Uh, seventh. Then we have Jobadex in eighth. Caristus in ninth. Shouty in tenth. Beton Tegel. Concrete tile in eleven. Then we have uh, the Vissarini runs wide a little bit over there. And Avery Rickwood for seven. All the way at the back. But let's follow the, uh, the fight for the lead. And let's see. And settle down a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, Beton Tegel. <laughs> Uh, let's see if something, yes, Debris. Uh, let's see if something's gonna change over here. Nothing changing so far, but as we can see, Monik seems to be a little bit quicker. And behind that, we have Hugo still in third. Then we have Kevin C running wide over there. Oh, nearly losing it. And that's gonna cost him a little bit of time, and it's gonna give Quinn the opportunity to catch up. Let's see a little bit further back. We have Tamil and Jaden. Jaden seems to be quicker than him. And then we have Jobadex and Shouty fighting over eighth place. And here comes Shouty on the outside. Oh, can he make that move stick? It's going to be difficult on the outside. And then we have the Dachi game. But let's go a little bit further in front. Let's see if everybody's going to make it through the Dachi game this time. Then we have Arno and Marnik. No, Marnik cannot make it. He hits the ball. He has rear bumper damage and right a little bit left uh, rear suspension damage. Hugo's probably going to overtake him. Let's look a little bit further back. There we have Kevin C. Didn't come out of the Dachi game pretty well. Quinn has the opportunity into the hairpin but first of all Marnik drops back to third place because Hugo is faster than him because he has rear bumper damage and left rear suspension damage let's look a little bit further back we still have Tamil in uh, sixth then we have Jaden then we have Jopadex then we have Carissas fighting together still with Chowdy over ninth place let's get all the way up front again <coughs> oh no it's a nice lead so far <coughs> because of the mistake of Marnik now we have Hugo a second, and Marnik tries it on the inside. Immediately of Hugo to regain second place, but he cannot. And then we have Kevin C, the fighting uh, against Quinn for fifth place. And this is the closest battle we have, but it's going to be chaos all over the place, and we're going to probably have to do another 10,000. It's a replace! But so far, so good. And here comes Hugo. Hugo runs a little bit wide over there, has a little bit of lack in the replay. But that's probably an internet internet issue. Internet connection issue, to be precise. And this battle for third place is heating up between Marnik, Kevin C and Quinn. 
And who's gonna dump it in the wall this time in the dead chicken? We don't know. The rest of the whole lap is reasonable to do. And here comes Queen on Kevin C. He tries it on the inside, but oh, Neil has done it. But Kevin C breaks late enough to defend it. Here they're gonna, here they're gonna come up to the dead chicken again. And oh no, probably made it through because I cannot see any yellow flags or a crash. Monik makes it through. Everybody makes it through. And let's see a little bit further. Oh, I can see a little bit of wall touching. Nobody crashed so far. Then we have Yopadex coming out of the second part. Oh, and Shouty hits the wall from bumper damage and both front tire, front suspension damage. Oh, it is gonna drop him back to 10th to 11th. And maybe even back behind the Divisor in 12th. Let's go a little bit further up front, because it's still not done. There we have it for third place. Here they're going to come. Kevin C is going to try to make the move on Monik. They're side by side already, and Quinn has the best slipstream, and it's probably going to have the insight for the first corner. He can overtake Kevin C right now. He's already in fourth place. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Here he comes. Oh, and he thinks better of it. Fair fighting, guys. Nicely done. No instant replay needed, I think, but let's see a little bit further back. No, let's keep an eye on this battle. We have Hugo still just in front of Monik. Probably, no, he didn't make any mistakes, but Monik is faster. He's closing up. If Kevin C is still in fourth, Quinn in fifth. There we have Tamil in sixth. Then we have Jade at the seventh. Then we have Jopadex in eighth. Curtis is in ninth. Baton Teagle. Baton Teagle in tenth. Chowdy in eleventh. D Defizer in twelfth. And still at the back, Rick147. But he's catching up. Catching up quickly. Let's go all the way up front again. <laughs> yeah, Debris! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go again. Here comes the fight, and they're gonna go three wide yet again. And Monik tries it on the inside over there. And to Kevin, of on Kevin C, but can I make the move stick? But he makes the move stick on. No, Kevin C makes the move stick on. Monik, Monik drops back to fourth. And now we have Kevin C in third, and Quinn is in fifth right now. Do we hear anybody hit the wall over here in the Dutch chicane? No, he does not. What a huge slide over there. And yes, somebody hits the wall. It's gonna be to Mill. And Monik, because of that huge drift, is gonna lose a place to Quinn. Oh, to Queen as well. We'll have to see that again. Back, 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 any back. Back, 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 any back. Let's get a boat. T cam, yes. Well, not T cam. Chase cam. Chase cam view. It started earlier. Let's Kevin C take different lines into the sweep pass. Let's look back. Yes, he does. Monik went a little bit wide over there. That's going to compromise this one. And Kevin C is already on his tail. Already side by side out of this corner. But runs a little bit wide over there. As we can see, let's go TV cam so we can see everything of it. Quinn tries to join the fight or is joining the fight. And Monik tries to do the cut back over here on the inside. But cannot make the move stick. And oh, nearly touching him over there. And Quinn can make the move stick towards the Dachi game. Because Monik went in really tight. No, he cannot. And as we can see right now, we're going to go on board with Monik into the second part of the Dead Chicane. He hits the curb a little bit too hard on the second part. Has a huge drift over there, but holds it together, but it's going to slow you down. And that's going to make Quinn pass him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What a moves over there. But we'll have to see another one yet again. Where's that river? Let's get a boat and go back, 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 any back. Because we have Tamil backwards out of the Dead Chicane. Here we're going to go. He's going to see that battle of those three guys right in front of him. Jaden is behind him, but not but far enough to not risk it. And he's going to hit the curb a little bit too hard. No, he's going to hit the wall too hard. Front bumper damage and both front suspensions are damaged. Then he's backwards. Drops all the way back to eight so far. He was in fifth. Oh, and it's going to lose him way more time because he cannot spin it on the wall. And he's dropped back all the way to 12 right now. And there is Caristus. Caristus is probably done. What happened to Caristus? We'll have to see that again as well. Okay. Back. 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 And he back. Oh, he's ninth over here. So he's fighting with concrete tile. Also into this one. Let's see it from the perspective of uh, Baton Teagle. Uh, we're going to see it from the perspective of Coristus. He's behind. And let's see it from the perspective of Shouty. He's going to hit the wall over there. Yes, he does. Oh, Baton Teagle and Coristus are going to hit. We have three victims this lap. Of the dead chicane. No! 
So yeah, they all drop back all the way to the rear. Because now we have Kuristus all the way at the back. Then we have Tamil, then we have Concrete Tile. And then we have Rickman 47 already gained three places because of all of that. Then we have D Defisser. Let's go all the way up front again. And let's see how it all ends up over here. We have Arno still in the lead. Then we have Hugo in second. Then we have Kevin C. Try to catch up to Hugo for second place. Oh, and Hugo went a little bit wide over there. You have Quinn uh, still in fourth. And then we have Marnik. Try to regain that position of fourth and even third. And even want to go up to second again. And then we have Jaden in the sixth. Then we have Jopadex in seventh. Shaudi in eighth. The Visser in 9th, Rickon 47, try to catch up in 10th, but the Concrete Tile, 11th, Tamil, and Coristus. Here we're going to go with the tightest battle we have and the highest up. Let's keep an eye on the mini-map or yellow flags or whatever to see what is happening. Whoa, Quinn on two wheels. Meine gute Jungs. It's rimmed the roof. Yeah, we're going to come into the second half in. And here we're going to come to the death chicane again. Let's pray. Let's do that again. Let's see if everybody makes it through. Here we're going to go. First part is full throttle, but the second part isn't. And everybody makes it through so far. Nobody's going to hit the wall. No, nobody's going to hit the wall. But if you have a shitty exit, you're going to lose momentum. And as you can see, Monik did. Then we have Jada made it through. Yopadex made it through. Here comes Shouty. Makes it through as well. And Rick 47. Whoa, right on the limit. Minor good. What a risk. And he overtook D. The Fisher already, I believe, for 10th place. And then we have Concrete Tile made it through. Tamil made it through. Chris is going to make it through. Yes, he does. Oh, and take a look at this battle. Let's go back a little bit with an instant. Excuse me. Take a look how close this battle is right now. We have Arno for the lead. But he had a shitty exit out of the chicane, as you can see right now. And here comes Hugo. Hugo on the inside immediately for first place. And he's going to make it. He's going to make it stick. And it's going to be a cutback from Arno. No, there's not. And there's going to be a fight for third, pl third place as well between Kevin C and Quinn. Holy shit, balls of fire. It's kicking off left, right, and center. Did I send it or did I not did it send it? Yes, you, Hugo. <laughs> Holy shit, balls of fire. Kevin C is still third place, but Hugo, can he defend first place? Uh, no, he cannot. Hugo die, uh, uh, auto dies on the inside and makes the move sick. Holy shit, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm cursing too much. Sorry about that. Hugo's back into second place because Otto overtook him. And here comes Otto. And Hugo got pushed a little bit wide over there. They're going to go three wide into the second half in over here. What the hell are you doing, guys? You're fighting all over the place. And we'll have to see this again in an instant replay because I cannot follow anymore. But it's the replay! Back, 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 Eddie, back. Hugo made that huge fucking send over here. Yes. Did I send it or did I not did it send it? Here he comes. Boom! And take a look at this. Arno leaves the space and thinks, uh, thinks about the cutback. But cannot really make that move happen. But he has a better exit out of the last corner. And let's see from the perspective of Quinn. Because Quinn is fighting Kevin C as well. And then we have Marduk in the background. It's still a bit in slipstream. But cannot make this move stick. And here comes Arno yet again. Let's see it from Kevin C's perspective. Arno on the inside of Hugo, he makes the move stick, and Hugo cannot do anything about it, cannot do the cutback, Kevin C holds ground compared to Quinn, but here they're going to come, and they're going to go three white out of this corner, first of all it's going to be single file into this one, but because everybody's going to take a different line, Hugo takes the uh, narrow line, Kevin C is take, taking the white line into the corner, and Arno is taking the normal line, and that's going to give you three white, nearly three white, into this hairpin over here and now they're finally going to go single file yet again but Hugo is still in second place then we have Kevin C in third but because of all this fighting Marni could close up and now we have a fight for first place between these these four guys five guys oh and there's a little bit of a touch of, uh, from Quinn over there to Kevin C and that's going to lose them momentum and Kevin C is going to lose yet again momentum over there and that's going to give Quinn and Marni the opportunity to pass them both of the pass him both here they're going to come, and we're going to see a change for the lead as well. Yet again, no honor defense perfectly over there. Hugo doesn't make the move, but here comes Kevin C. Harmonic into the second hairpin. And they're going to go three wide yet again into the dead chicane. Is that possible? No, that's not possible. You want to die? Yes, yeah, sure. No! no! 
We don't want to see, and here it comes, side by side. Oh, and all, they all gonna hit the wall. And here there goes Hugo into the wall. No! no! Oh, and that's the end of Hugo's race. Holy shit, balls of fire. Where's that replay? Let's get him up. Back, 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 get him back. He tried it, of course, on Arno. Wait, let's go a little bit further back. As you can see right here, Arno defends perfectly. Puts his card in the middle. Hugo tries the wider line. Tries to cut back. Cannot perform it perfectly because they both have a wiggy 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 wobble over there. Then we have the fight. Three wide behind here. And they're going to go single file in three, two, one. Yes. And here they are single file. Yes, they are. They are going to hit the wall. And there, the inside wall. It is for Hugo. Front bumper damage and both front suspension damage. And there goes Jaden as well. Holy shit, balls of fucking fire. Another victim of the death chicane. It's the replay. Back, back, back in the back. What did he do? All on his own. Not even in a fight. Here he comes. Does he go a little bit too tight? Yeah, it's the first of the first curbstone that made him go a little bit wide. Luckily, no damage. He can continue. He's in fifth, but he's going to lose a place to Yopadax. Now, let's continue further up front. Here, they're going to fight. And there we have Quinn already in second place. He overtook Marnik. Yeah, of course, that was in the dead chicane already. And Marnik overtook... Did he? Let's see that again. Where's the replay? Oh, this is going to take fucking forever to cover, man. <laughs> Well, first of all, let's see it all together, yet again, between these guys. Three wide. You're mental. You're mental. Honestly, what are we doing? Racing or big block? Here they are, Manic already passed, Kevin C. Uh, sorry, Quinn. Wow, wow, we have to see that from Quinn's perspective. Here we have it. Quinn is on the outside. Manic is fighting with Kevin C for the inside and they both push each other a little bit wide and Quinn performs the perfect old switcheroo now let's get a boat with Marnik no Kevin C because Kevin C is the last and they're gonna go three wide into this one but Kevin C can slot in behind Quinn and they all are gonna touch the wall no Marnik didn't now we can see you go crashing into the that chicane no! oh and here we're gonna go towards the last hairpin and who's gonna break the latest it's still gonna be quinn monic tries it on the inside and there is no chase into the last chicane there is a huge slide over there for monic and let's continue let's look a little bit further back there we had jopinex and Janie. there was a chains over there there we have hugo in seventh chowdy in eighth rico 47 already in ninth you have the visit in tenth and baton teagle in 11 to mil in 12th and then we have Corissus in 13th still there we have still uh let's go all the way up front yet again here we have Arno in the lead and here they're gonna go again yet again Kevin Z tries it on the inside into the first chicane uh on Monik can he make move stick no he cannot Quinn goes a little bit wide over there Kevin Z does as well can Monik profit of that no he cannot and is there any other battle behind no there is not Wow, we're in the 8th lap of an 11th. We're only 30 minutes in and here comes Marnik into the second half in. Can he... Oh, he pushes uh, Quinn a little bit wide over there. But he cannot make the move stick. Whoa! That was a close one. <clears throat> Don't know if it was appropriate over there. But still fun to do. There we have Kevin C coming up. He has a better exit out of the sweepers. Here he's going to come into the second hairpin. Who's going to break the latest over here? Is it going to be Marnik on Quinn? No, it's not. Let's look a little bit further behind. Anybody else close behind each other? No, there is not. Let's go all the way up front again. Here we have that battle. Here comes Marnik on Quinn. And who's going to have the best exit out of the dead chicane? Do we going to hit any walls? No, there is no wall hit, but there is a shitty exit from Marnik. And that's going to give Kevin C the opportunity to pass Marnik into the third hairpin. The last and third hairpin. Here he comes on the inside. Perfectly executed. Is there going to be a cutback from Marnik? No, there is not. Let's look a little bit further behind. Anybody died so far? No, everybody's still in the same order. Yep. As we can see so far, yes, there is. Nothing going on. Let's go all the way up front again. Here comes Kevin C and Monik. Monik tries it on Kevin C in the slipstream. Kevin C defends the inside for the first chicane already. He forces Monik white. And there is no possibility for Monik to pass him over here. Whew. I'm getting light. Uh, light uh, blah, blah, blah. We left the space. Always leave the space. Always. 
Oh, you always have to leave the space, Monik. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna come into the first hairpin. Really tight, really close together. Nothing changed behind so far. And yeah, they're gonna come into the sweepers. Who's gonna have the best entry and who's gonna have the best exit? That's gonna ball. Well, let's see this. Oh, that is a tight battle between Jaden and Hugo behind as well. Let's see if there's gonna be an overtake over here until the second half in. Nope. So let's cut a little bit back, and here comes Hugo. Hugo on Jaden. Is he gonna try it on the inside? No, he does not. Maybe into the dead chicane. Let's go a little bit further in front. Let's see who's gonna die over here. Die, baby, die! <laughs> here they come. I don't hear any shenanigans so far, but yet again, a huge slide for Monik. It's going to cost him time. Let's look a little bit further behind. Joe the there we have Jaden. Jaden, that's a shitty exit compared to Hugo. Here comes Hugo towards the last hairpin. Is he going to make the move stick? Yes, he does. And in the background, we can see Rickman47 already coming up. He's making ground on these guys because they're fighting. Let's go a little bit further in front again. Here comes Monik on Kevin C. Let's see if he can make that boost stick. Kevin C forced him out wide. Because this is the insight for this corner. Oh, Monik made the pass stick before the chicane. Before the first chicane. Nicely done. Perfectly executed. And a huge slight yet again for Monik. Let's see how, how he did that. Instant replay! Let's get a boat. Back. Back in the back. Is it just a perfect slipstream? Yes, it is a perfect slipstream as far as I can see. Here he comes, pulls uh, to the outside. That's going to be the inside for this kink to the right. And then he's way faster because of the slipstream and that shorter route towards the first chicane. And now he's back in third. Perfectly executed. No changes over here. Let's look a little bit further back. There we have Rick 47 making the move. Shouty, nicely done. I want to see that again. It is a replay! Yet again. A perfect slipstream as well. Wow. To the inside. Has the overspeed. And is passed right now. Breaks later than Chowdy. Makes the move stick. And he's in eighth. He's recovering. He was 13 at a certain moment. I believe after lap two. Uh, let's get all the way up front again. Quinn, sort of safe right now in second place. Monica and Kevin C still fighting over third. Arno still on the lead. Then we have Jopanex in fifth, Hugo in sixth, Jade at the seventh, and Rickman 47 in eighth right now. And Shouty behind that. And take a look at those drifts from Monik. Holy shit, balls of fire. Taking the risks. Here comes Kevin C yet again into the second half pin. Can he make that move stick or can he make the move? No, he cannot. Let's look a little bit further back. There we have Jopanex and Hugo fighting over fifth place. And Jaden is going to come into that battle as well. Whoops, skipped a little bit the wrong way. Jopanex is still in fifth. There we have Hugo just behind it. And Jaden behind that. This is the fight for fifth place. Is everybody going to survive the dead chicane of the top four? Yes, there is. Whoa, that's a shitty exit from Jaden. And it's a shitty exit. Whoa. <clears throat> a reasonable exit from Jopadex, but a better exit from Hugo. And Rickman 47 already passed Jaden for 7th place. How did he do that? And Hugo made the pass on Jopadex as well. We'll have to see those both again. And it is a right! Back, 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 Eddie, back. <clears throat> Here we have that fight. First of all, between Jopadex, Hugo and Jaden. And take a look how far back rick 147 is it's the white car at the rear over there here we have yobadex putting up a defensive line does he leave the space yes he leaves the space all the time you have to leave the space but they're gonna go single file into the dead chicane and yobadex are gonna have a shitty exit out of this one oh it's just simply a better exit from hugo hugo pulls to the outside over here, it's going to be the insight for the last hairpin. And there we saw the pass already behind. But here is Hugo on the inside of Yopadex. And he's going to make the move stick. 
Whoa, what a drift. Tokyo drift. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, they're going to fight all the way until the first corner. First, we're going to see that one. Before, we're going to go back to the replay between Rickman 47 and Jaden. How that pass got stuck. And Yopadex regains the place, but here comes Hugo on the inside of Yopadex into the first chicane. Can he make that happen? No, he cannot. He has to slot in behind. Can he do the old switcheroo on Rickman 47 because of all the fighting? Can close up. But first of all, let's see how Rickman 47 passed Jaden. And it is the replay! It is the replay! Back, 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 back. Here it is. There we can see the trio fighting over fifth place. Well. Here he comes, he's gonna take full risk into this chicane. Takes it perfectly, a little bit of a touch of the wall. Jaden touched the wall and that's why he slowed down. He cannot defend that position, so that's why Rick147 can make that pass stick. Let's go a little bit further in front. No, we are not. Now we're gonna see the huge slide from Hugo. And the opportunity for Yopadex to get alongside again. Has the better exit. <clears throat> and as you can see Hugo is going to try to move right now into the slipstream and tries to move yet again on Yopadex into the first chicane he cannot make that move stick and because of all this fighting they slow each other down and take a look how quickly Rick 47 can make up places and he takes, he takes all the risks in the world and it's the final lap already Mine good I nearly nearly forgot that it's already the final lap right now and here we have Rick 47 uh, but let's go a little bit further up front because we have Marnik and Kevin C still fighting over third place into the sweepers Marnik cuts in front of Kevin C and Kevin C cannot make that move stick so far but is probably going to do it because he can take the better line into the sweepers and out of the sweepers but Marnik corrected it perfectly but Kevin C is in the slipstream into the second hairpin here they're going to go Marnik takes a defensive line can he make uh, the move, Kevin C, on the outside? No, he cannot. Can he perform the old switcheroo? switcheroo? No, they outbreak each other both. So, no, there is no old switcheroo over there. Let's see if everybody's going to survive into the dead chicane. Yes, they are so far. And no crashes, no crashes. Oh, there is a touch of the wall from Marnik over there. And Kevin C, oh, sorry. Kevin C can make that move for third place. Here he comes. Oh, no, Marnik loses. <coughs> loses third place. To Kevin C, unfortunate for him, but here he's gonna come. Arno, nearly not threaded in this race. He's gonna come home first. <laughs> Perfectly executed. Then we have Quinn coming home in second, third. Kevin C, fourth. Marnik, beautifully done. Unfortunate for Marnik for that last chicane. And Rick 47 all the way up to fifth. How did he do that? We'll have to see that again. When it is a good Let's get a book with Rick 47. How did he end up in fifth? Minor good there. I believe he was in ninth. Before the lap started. Because he overtook, of course, Jaden. He overtook Shouty already. So let's continue with uh, the quest of Rick 147 to fifth. Let's see that. Here he overtakes Jaden already for seventh. And there we have that battle yet again. We're not going to see that battle again. Let's skip a little bit further. And now we're going to see the full lap from Rickman 47's perspective. Or maybe somebody else's perspective. If we can see it any better. And because of the fighting here further up front between Yopadex and Hugo. Rickman 47 takes all the risk in the world. Can close up to both of them. And can he already make the move into the first hairpin? He cannot but takes the wider line over here goes a little bit too wide can he profit of the mistakes of the guys in front Jaded is still close behind as well here they're gonna come into the sweepers are uh, they gonna run each other wide no they're not and brick 17 the perfect slipstream right now is it gonna be into the hairpin he pulls alongside of Hugo over here for sixth place Yopadex takes the defensive line over there. And that's going to slow down Hugo and Yopadex together. Rick 47 can pass Hugo on the outside over there. Oh, and there's a little bit of a tap from Hugo on the rear of Yopadex. And that gives Rick 47 the opportunity to pass them both before the dead chicane. And that, uh, if you do not make any mistakes anymore, 
is going to give you fifth place, and it does. And Jaden repassed Hugo yet again, and is going to have a shitty exit out of the dead chicane. Here comes Hugo again, and Jaden puts up a defensive uh, line to make sure Hugo cannot retake the position. Here they're going to come side by side into the last half, and Jopodex cannot pass. Uh, Rick 47 for fifth place and Jaden and Hugo still side by side towards the line here they're gonna come so we have Rick 47 coming home in fifth then we have uh, Jopelex in sixth Jaden the seventh Hugo in eighth and there here comes Concrete Tile Baton Teagle in ninth and then we have Shouty all the way back in tenth Tamil with a lot of damage in this race in eleventh then we have Dita Fizzer spun out <clears throat> what happened to him and to see was it out of the last corner Oh, a little bit too early on the throttle. Yes. Wow, that's an unfortunate one. And it's going to take forever to get going again. But he's going to finish 12th. Yes, he's going to come home in 12th. And all the way at the back, we're going to have Caristus. Whoo! That was just race number one, and we're, we're already a full hour in. And I think I've missed half of all the crashes and all the shit that went on. Meine Gute. We still have to do the second one. Ay, 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 ay. Well, let's, let o let's load up the second one already. That's going to be a nice one. Not. <laughs> Meine Gute. Let's play the replay. Let's pause it immediately. Let's skip back. Let's put on the race. No, first of all. Look. And that one. Yes. First of all, also for for the the few S, a little bit of a a little bit of a toilet break. A small intermission. Yes, here we go again. Okay. Because I need to make some space, yes. All the time you need the space. <laughs> We're still enjoying. I believe we do. We're going to run you through the order. The, the finishing order of race number one is going to be the starting order for race number two. So you probably know it already, but... I'm gonna run you through it anyway. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, boy. <clears throat> so, right now, we're gonna have. On a one pole. Yes, it's pole position. <laughs> Good. And then we're going to have Quinn in second place because he finished second with his holy, sh holy cheat, holy cheat car. Then we have Kevin C in third place. This is also the standing so far in the championship, logically. And then we have Monik in fourth. Then we have Rick 147 in fifth. 
nice recovery because he was 13th after lap number two. And then we have Jopadex in sixth, did a solid race, nicely done as well to you, Jopadex. Kenny. <laughs> then we have Jaden in seventh, if he raised, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> then we have Hugo in eighth, then we have Concrete Tile in ninth, then we have Shouty in tenth, Tamil Q in eleventh. Had a shitty race to Shouty as well. He doesn't like the chicane, by the way. And um, as soon as we're going to see the standings, shout out to Shouty for the championship standings. And then we have Tamil Q in 11th. D. Deficer, also a shout out to him to do it all the other seasons, the championship standings. And Chris's in 13th. What? Whoa, we had that glare again. Take a look at the glare. Take a look at the glare. Take a look at the glare. The glare. No! <clears throat> Disgusting. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to do this. We'll have to do this again. Twenty minutes. That's going to take another hour. <laughs> we got to lubricate the voice. <clears throat> I'm drinking VD Feta. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Take a look at that. <clears throat> so, yeah. What time is it? Yeah, we can still shout. The neighbors won't complain right now. <clears throat> not yet, not yet, not yet. So yeah. This is going to be another another thriller. It's gonna be a lot of. Honestly, what are we doing? Racing or big rock? Mm hmm. Now! <clears throat> Here we're gonna go. In! Three, two, one! Go! And we're gonna go, and everybody's gonna start the same way, but let's see who gets the best slipstream in this car. And we can see Shouty already switching places over there to another train, and we have two trains coming towards the first corner. And we're gonna see, oh no, side by side with Quinn into the first corner. We have Kevin C joining the fight as well, and have Bardic tries to defend from uh, Rick 47 and they drive all the way wide over there and who's gonna overtake who and Kevin C is already in second place we have Monik in third right now Queen in fourth Rick 47 still in fifth and they're gonna go side by side Queen side by side with Rick 47 into the fast right hand towards the first hairpin here they're gonna come and who's gonna dive the deepest and that is uh, Jaden already on the inside of Rick 47 and we hear somebody spin out no we cannot see somebody spin out yes I believe Tamil did a huge spin over there and let's see oh no we're still in the lead there we we have Monica second, Kevin C in third, and we have Quinn in fair fourth, and he's gonna overtake uh, Rick 47. Wow, I cannot see anymore. Uh, yeah, Quinn is gonna overtake uh, Rick 47 right now, and, and Rick 47 nearly passed him over there. We're gonna see the start again because I couldn't follow any everything that happened over there. There we have Quinn still on the outside of uh, Rick, Rick 47 on the outside of Quinn. Can he make that move stick on the outside? He can probably. He's good, and then we have Kevin C fighting with Marnik into the death chicane. Here they're gonna come up the first time into the death chicane side by side. Is that possible? Are oh, they gonna do it for the first time? Who's gonna run out? Oh, they're running right into each other. Oh, and Marnik gets the ball over there, and they crash out. Rick 47 crashes out yet again. No! no! Mina Gutta! What happened over there? Holy shit, balls of fire. That shook up the whole grid. Because right now we still have Arno in the lead, but. Kevin C is second, Quinn, Jaden, suddenly fourth, Jopadex fifth, Hugo in sixth, then we have Christus all the way in seventh, he started 13th, then we have Dita Fisser in eighth, Tamil in ninth, Shouty in tenth, then we have Marnik in eleventh, Concrete Tile in twelfth, and Rick 147 all the way at the back, yet again. 
front bumper damage, left front uh, suspension damage. Marduk with front uh, bumper damage and both front suspension damage. Anybody else hit the wall? Nope. Not hard enough to have damage. But, first of all, it's the ripping! Let's see that start again. All the way to the beginning. Back, 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 anyway. Follow it from Marduk's perspective. Let's see from Rick 147's perspective. This is going to be exciting. Okay, the start is going to be all equal to everybody. Nearly everybody. Monik had a little bit of a slow getaway. But it's quick enough for everybody. You have two trains and now everybody tries to slot in at the perfect spot. He thinks is the perfect spot. Now we have Monik on the inside. Now we go nearly three wide. Kevin C went a little bit wide over there. Pushes um, Quinn a little bit wide. And there they're going to go side by side. The slot in single file. On our first Kevin C. Then Monik. And here we have Quinn and uh, Rick 147 next to each other. And here comes uh, Jaden on the inside of Rick 147. Dives on the inside over here. And then we have Monik on the inside of Kevin C. That's how Marty got second place. And Rick 147 holds his ground compared to Jaden as we saw over here. Then we have Quinn on the outside of Kevin C right now. Kevin C dropped back. Then Kevin C. Oh, Quinn tries it on the outside over there. We got a little bit of a push. He cannot make that stick, and here we're gonna go. Um, Rick 47 has the better line over here. Then we have Marnik right in the slipstream off Otto for the lead. And Kevin C uh, right in front of us. And then we have Quinn and Rick 47 who were following. And here comes the move on the outside of Otto with Marnik. But Marnik got, no, didn't get pushed wide, but. Here we have Kevin C and Monik next to each other into the first part of the death chicane. This is going to be ridiculous. And here they're going to go. We're going to pass it. Oh, that was a huge slide already over there from Monik. And he touches with his right rear. He slides with his right rear into Kevin C. Pushes Kevin C a little bit into the wall. Rick 147 is going to hit the wall as well. And here we're going to see it. Kevin C turns in perfectly. Monik hits the wall over there. <clears throat> That's going to run him wide all the way into the wall. Rick 47 got scared, got spooked. Ah! And that turns him into the wall over here as well. And as we can see right now, Quinn can pass him. Jaden can pass him. Monik is still over here. Let's look a little bit further back. Let's skip a little bit further back. And let's see from further back. There we have Caristas already in ninth. And let's follow it from his perspective. Because he's going to benefit probably the most out of this. As we can see, then we can see it. Now Monik is going to hit the wall. Rick 147 is going to spin out. If we look a little bit further up ahead. Who else is going to hit the wall? There we have. Who's that? Kevin C is going to hit the wall. Quinn is going to be on the inside of him. Now we can see somebody else. Now nearly buddy, every, everybody else is going to hit the wall over there. So Yopadex hit the wall. And then we had Jaden hitting the wall as well Kevin C hitting the wall and Chris is hitting the wall as well so it's not the best perspective we can have it's Rick 147 of uh, D Deficit we can have the best oh yeah Chris is. we can see the best from and as you can see right now whoa Kevin C went a little bit wide over there let's see that all again here it comes. Let's see it unfold. Everybody's hitting everybody. Everybody's going to hit the wall. Nearly everybody. And as we can see, Hugo can pass Jopadex because he has a better exit. Uh, Quinn lets Kevin C pass again. There we have Jadent pushing Kevin C a little bit wide over there. He's going to park it on the apex. Hugo is going to be break tested because of that. And Kevin C can repass it again. But Jopadex can pass Jadent because of that. And here we're going to go. We have five guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cars, all in one picture. Take a look at this. We have two, four, six, eight, nine cars, as I said. Minor Gutta towards the first corner. Here they're going to come. Quinn for second place together with Kevin C. Jobadex right behind it. Then we have Jaden behind that. And let's look. Oh, Kevin C goes a little bit wide over there. There we have Jaden. And here comes uh, Jobadex and Chris. Is, oh, and Jaden got pushed a little bit wide over there. And Jaden loses a lot of ground. Okay. And Christus right in front, still with his indicators on the whole race, as we know. <clears throat> Christus all the way up to fifth right now. Then we have Hugo in fifth, Jade at the seventh. I want to see that move in the into the first corner again. Even wat helikopter tape vapen. Yes. <laughs> yes, Debris. <laughs>
Let's have a replay! Let's get a ball. Would Kevin see? Back, back, baggity back. Baggity, baggity, back, back, back. <clears throat> yep. From his perspective, Jaden's perspective. Take a look at this gaggle of cars behind. Oh, Jaden outbreaks himself, pushes Kevin. See a little bit wide. Let's Kevin see past again. Okay, good enough. It's going to cost him a place to Quinn. Yeah, of course. You didn't gain it legally. So good enough. And he's going to lose a place to Yopodex as well. Here they're going to come. We have Hugo, Christus, Tamil, and Shouty, I believe. No, it's Rick 147. No, it's D. The Fisher and Shouty just behind it as well. Here they're going to go into the first corner. Nobody's going to take over. Somebody, uh, Kevin Z, runs a little bit wide. That's why Quinn can overtake to second place. And Christus pushes Jaden a little bit wide over there. And then we have Yopodex passing Kevin Z as well because he had a shitty exit. And Christus uh, right behind it. And then we have Hugo passing Jaden as well. As we can see for sixth place. And uh, right now behind it, we can see Shouty on Tamil Q. And then we have D. The Fisser. And Shouty is already in eighth place. Let's go a little bit further up front. Arno is all the way in the lead. Then we have Kevin of uh, Quinn. Then we have Jopodex in third. <clears throat> Jopodex in third. Nicely done. Then we have Kevin C in fourth. Coristus in fifth. With his indicators. Still on. Then we have Hugo in uh, sixth place. And he's going to probably make the move on Coristus for fifth place. Here he's going to come to the outside. Can he make that move stick? No, he cannot. Oh, and he's got a little bit of a push over there from Jaden. And Jaden is uh, going to lose out because of that. And they're going to go three white. Here comes Tamil. There comes uh, Shouty. And they're going to go three white into the dead chicane. No, not. Jaden is still up front, but barely. He pushes Shouty into the wall. And Tamil... It's just behind it. Oh, somebody hit the wall. Probably Chris is going to uh, hit the wall a little bit over there. And that's going to make Hugo get off. That's going to give Hugo the opportunity to pass him over there. <sighs> and Chris is still with his indicators on. <laughs> it's alarm lights. However you want. Hazard lights. That's the word I was searching for. Now we have Jaden Tamil fighting over seventh place. As we can see right now, here they're going to come. And Shouty has the most of the best slipstream here they're going to go three white yet again and we're going to see that fight a little bit further up front between Christus and Hugo as well here they're going to come into the first corner and they're going to go three white who's going to win this fight then we have Shouty Tamil Jaden backs out of it here comes Shouty went a little bit deep and then we have Tamil still the big winner out of this and Jaden runs a little bit wide over there Dita Fisser comes to the outside Shouty on the inside of Jaden they're going to go three white yet again what is it with three white in the end it's track mind a good and Shouty overtakes Jaden and Jaden's all the way back into night right now a little bit of a wiggy 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 wobble over there from Shouty and let's go a little bit further to front again I want to see we have Otto comfortably in the lead then we have Quinn in second then we have Kevin C in third then we have Yobodex in fourth what a shitty camera perspective this is then we have Hugo in fifth Chris is in sixth Tamil in seventh Shouty in eighth Jaden in ninth oh and there we have a big wiggy 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 wobble from Arnick trying to overtake D the Let's pass it over there. I want to know how Chris has got all the way up to 5th. From the start. From 13th. Let's get all the way back to the start. Let's get a ball. I want to know. Here we're going to go. <clears throat> Is that all the shenanigans? I don't know. He gained so many places. Here we have it. In last place still. He's on the inside of D. The Fisser. Probably is going to overtake him. Okay, that's good. Nothing on the hand. Leaves the space for D to visit on the outside, of the inside. Here we're going to go. Is it going to dive into the inside of this fast right hand? That is going to be risky. It is going to be tricky. Oh, nearly pushes Shouty wide. But just leaves enough space. Oh, and he pushes Tamil wide. Oh, and he puts concrete tile in a spin because of that. Why? Why would you do that? Why do you want to go for a move over there? They're already side by side over here. And you dive into the inside. You're going to push Tamil White. And that's going to have a domino effect and puts concrete tile in the spin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's bye bye, swipe, swipe, concrete tile. That's how you get up to ninth. <clears throat> now, of course, the fighting further up front. Now we can see a slow sweep of the slow sweepers of Jaden a little bit further up front. It's the fifth in this row.
And here we're going to go into the Dutch chicane. Of course, we're going to lose two guys. That's going to be Monik and Kevin C. Of uh, Monik and Rick 147. So that's going to be seventh place already. Easily gained. Everybody single file except the two fighting for second place. There we can see Monik hitting the wall. Rick 147 hitting the wall. That's two places gained. Okay, perfectly done. Then we. Um, Koritis is already in seventh place. And he's going to gain another. Two places. <clears throat> Here they're fighting all over the place. And take a look at this. We have three behind. And we have five up front. Nine cars. All in the slipstream from each other. All really close together. Mine a good what a fight. Here we're gonna go, he's on the inside of Hugo, out breaks him, pushes Jaded a little bit, and he's gonna push him a little bit wide over there. Ah. Um then we have Yeah, there we have fifth place. Hugo and Jaden passed. Okay, let's continue from here. Here we were. There we had that fight between Shaudi and Tamil. And we were a little bit further up front because right now we have Yopadex and Kevin C fighting over third place. And a huge gaggle of cars behind it. Here they're going to come and there we have that fight between Corissus and Hugo. And who's going to break the latest and is Hugo going to do the old switcheroo? No, because Jaden had a little bit of a tap on Hugo. And as I said, they're going to go three wide over there. A little bit of a push from Tamil uh, to Jaden and Jaden to Shouty. Shouty had to back out of it. And here they're going to come into the Dutch chicane. And there was a little bit of a touch over there from... Corista, so Hugo could overtake him. Jaden had a shitty exit out of that chicane as well. Tamil can dive on the inside into the last hairpin. Here he comes, and Jaden tries the old switcheroo but cannot perform it. Puts it in a huge slide over there. He's still on the outside of Tamil. They're gonna go side by side towards the first corner or the first chicane. But first of all, here we have the fight between Kevin C and Yopadex for third place. Here they're gonna come. Kevin C overtakes Yopadex. And can he outbreak him? No, he cannot. Okay, Kevin C back in third place. Nicely done. Then we have Hugo still in fifth. And here they're going to come. Three wide yet again into the first corner. Tamil and Jaden and Shouty. <clears throat> and here comes Rico Furifa. Sorry, is that? No, it's D the Visser as well. And as I said, three wide with this circuit. Ridiculous! Here they're going to come side by side. Jaden and Shouty. Shouty has the better of it. A little bit of a push from uh, Jaden over there. And a little bit of a bump draft yet again. And the single file again. Holy shit, balls of fire. <laughs> Let's go a little bit further up front. Let's see that fight. Kevin C is pulling out a gap over Yopadex. And Yopadex is still a fourth. Then we have Hugo in fifth. Curtis is in sixth. Then we have Tamil in seventh. Oh, and a huge wiggy 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 wiggle over there from Marnik. And I want to see that move from... from him on the Fisser, but first of all, let's see how this move is going to pan out into the tight hairpin. The second hairpin, the Fisser goes a little bit wide over there. He cannot make the move stick. Let's go a little bit further to front. Is anybody going to go side by side? No, there is not. Is anybody going to die over here? We don't see any yellow flags. No, Coristus can make it through. Tamil can make it through. Shouty can make it through. Jaden can make it through. No, not really. He hits the ball really hard over there. Oh, somebody goes back, but yes, it's concrete tile. He's done into the wall. It's the replay! Let's get a ball. What did you do? He's right behind that fight uh, between the Visser and Marnik. And here they're gonna come. Into the Dead Chicane. Is he gonna hit the first curb or the second curb? The second curb a little bit too hard. Oh, it's because of Marnik hitting the second curb a little bit too hard. He um, hits the rear of Marnik. And that unsettles the car of Concrete Tile. Bet on Teagle. Here they're gonna come. Uh, let's see this from Monica's perspective. Take a look at this. He's gonna hit it. He's gonna unsettle the car. Slows down a little bit. Gets it into a drift. And because of the touch, Monica gets into the drift. Hits the wall. Gets corrected be because of that. But 
concrete tile doesn't hit uh, the wall and pulls it into a spin and it's the wall massively rear bumper damage to right rear suspension damage drops all the way back to 13 but let's go all the way up front again there we have Shaudi and the Visa fighting over ninth place let's go a little bit further up front I think Shaudi made a mistake in that chicane as well let's get all the way up front oh sorry we have Ono still on the lead then we have Quinn in second there we have Kevin C in third, Jopadex in fourth, Hugo in fifth, and Curtis is in sixth, Tamil in seventh. And then we have Dita Visser and Shaudi fighting over eighth place. Here comes Shaudi on the outside of Dita Visser into the first chicane. Can he make that move take? Yes, he can with an old switcheroo. And he's on the outside right now. Does the Visser leave him the space? Yes, he leaves him the space. You have to leave the space. All the time you have to leave the space. And here they're going to come into the fast right hander. Oh, and it's wow. How did the Fisser drop all the way back to 10? I want to see that again. What the hell happened? That simple? Here he comes with the old switcheroo. He leaves the space over here. Here they're going to come. And they're going to go with a full train. Take a look at that. Toot toot. Toot toot. Vlagmagen. <laughs> what the hell? Holy shit. Wow. Weird. Let's go a little bit further up front. Here we have the five foot third place between Kevin C, Yopadex, and Hugo. Hugo is faster than Yopadex, and Yopadex is catching up to Kevin C. Kevin C probably made a mistake because he had a, a way bigger gap compared to Yopadex than he had than it is right now. And then we have Caristus closing up as well. Wow, nearly outbreaks himself over there. Goes a little bit deep. Then we have Tamil. And here's that 5 4 eighth place between Jaden and Shouty. And Shouty overtakes him perfectly into the tight hairpin at the bottom of the circuit and is it possible for Monik to overtake Jaden as well no it's not and they're gonna go oh there is a yellow flag there is a yellow flag why there is a yellow flag somebody is backwards who's that it is Kevin C no, no! let's get a boat with him what happened that chicane yes take a look at this he's just in front of Yopadex probably he's gonna try everything at it is he going to hit the inside? Yes, he's going to do exactly the same as Monik did in the first lap when they were side by side. Front bumper that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Take a look at that front bumper damage. Both front suspension damage and engine damage. Oh, that's going to cost him dearly. That's going to cost you a lot. And take a look at that. He drops all the way back to 11th. And here comes Rookbop 47, taking all the risk out of that chicane. Minor good. And don't forget, we're, arrive, uh, we're racing on racing softs right now. So everything is faster. Let's go a little bit further up front. Let's see that fight again. Now it's third place between Yopadex, Coristus, and Hugo. And then we have Ono and Quinn still in the lead. Oh, and Coristus passed Hugo for fourth place, didn't he? I think he did. Still with his indicators on. Why? I do not know. It goes a little bit wide over there. Out of the first chicane. Yeah, that's an opportunity for Hugo to dive on the inside. Here he's going to come into the fast right hand. I know he cannot make that move stick. He thinks better of it. Yes, he does. Let's look a little bit further behind. There we have Jade at the 7th. Monik in 8th. The Visser in 9th. Uh, Rick 147 in 10th. Kevin C all the way back in 11th. Then we have Shouty in 12th. And Concrete Tile in 13th. Otto still in the lead. Here we are. Quinn closing up to Otto. We're nearly halfway through this la of our race. Eight minutes in. Let's look. And then we have Coristus fighting Yopadex for second or for third place. He's on the outside and tries to overtake him. He cannot make that move stick. Who's going to survive the dead chicane this time? Yopadex in the lead of this group in third place. Caristas in fourth. Hugo in fifth. And we know Hugo is extremely strong. And oh, there is a touch of the ball from Yopa from Caristas over there. And he has front bumper damage and left, right, front suspension damage. Oh my god. We'll have to see that again. It is a rebate. Back, back, back in the back. Take a look at that. And it's difficult. It's absolutely ridiculously difficult to see if you're following another car this close to do it perfectly. And he hits the wall just a tiny tap on the inside. Take a look at that. How close is this?
this is okay. But here you come to the second part and you want to commit to it. As you can see, he's going to hit it with his... Yeah, what? Front fender? Theoretically, he's going to miss it. But if you steer a little bit more, you're probably going to hit it with your sight mirror. There it is. Boop. Now it's going to put you white. Theoretically, you're not hitting it. But yeah. Sometimes you can't see the barriers. Because right now, you're hitting it and getting shoved white. And Hugo is going to bump you into the rear. In your rear. Poof! And that's going to make you hit the wall. Quite massively. Is the front bumper damage for Hugo? Luckily not. But Chris back in fifth right now. Tamil closing up quickly, as you can see. And yes, he's going to pull out and tries to defend it. But Tamil is such... Such overspeed, that's not possible. Carissa tries to defend, still tries to defend. Yeah, we have Jada in seven, Monik just behind him. And that's going to be a tight battle, but let's look a little bit further to front. Yes, Quinn closed up to Arno, and this is the fight for the lead. But there's not going to be an overtake over here. Third, fourth, and here we have fifth and sixth, Carissa and Tamil. And then we have Jada and Monik. All nice groups we have. We have the Fisser. Let him rip 47 go. They both have the same livery, so it's difficult to say who is who. Then we have Kevin C still in 11th. Then we have Shouty in 12th. And Concrete Tile all the way at the back. But let's follow this fight for the lead. Who's going to win this one? Who's going to win this one? Let's keep an eye on the timetable as well. And as far as I believe, Tamil, Tamil past Jopodex. And Tamil is all the way in fourth right now. You want to see that? Because uh, is there going to be an overtake over here? There's not going to be an overtake for first place. I want to see that. How did Tamil end up here suddenly? He's all the way up uh, front compared to Caristus. And was he already? No, he was way far behind. Way further behind. Let's see. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Let's see this. We have Jopodex and Hugo in front. And Chris is behind. There we can see a little mistake of Hugo. But not massive. He lost a little bit of ground compared to Jopodex. And let's see. Is there going to be any move? Oh, that is the huge mistake from Jopodex. There it is. Let's go a little bit back. Wait, one moment. No. Okay. A little bit further up front. Jopodex goes a little bit deep. No, he goes a little bit too early onto the throttle. Hits the grass over here. Spins it out. And that's going to lose him massive ground compared to the other guys. Does he have damage? Yes. Rear bumper damage and right suspension damage. Here they're going to come, the other guys. And Tamil is immediately on the inside into the sweepers. Can he make that move stick? Here he comes. Yes, he does. He's still on the outside. Tamil of uh, Jopodex still has damage. And Karistas tries it on the inside as well. And pushes Jopodex a little bit wide yet again. Meine Gute. Was that necessary? Holy shit, balls of fire. Here he is. And right now. Whoa, that's risky. Yo, but that's still with damage. And here we can see Monik and Jadenth. And here comes Monik on the inside of Jadenth for seventh place. Can he make it on the inside? No, he cannot. But Jadenth upbreaks himself a little bit. Can Monik profit of that? He tries to cut back with a smooth line, a tighter line. And he does. Just in front of the Dead Chicane. And Yopodex is really close behind Karistus as well into the Dead Chicane. Is everybody going to survive that? Oh, a little bit of a touch of the ball from Karistus over there. So Yopodex can retake fifth place. Damage is happening of damage is recovered over there 
So yes, he can! Nicely done, Jopodex. Perfectly driven. And Carissa tries the cut back over here onto the main straight. And it's going to be a slipstream battle. And take a look at the gap. Uh, Monik took already over Jaden. Monik is way quicker than these guys. The field is spread out a little bit, but uh, number one and number two are really close together. And these two are really close together. Here comes Carissas into the first corner. Can he overtake Jopodex into the first corner? Into the chicane. He dives onto the inside. He tries it, but Jopodex breaks just enough, of just late enough to make sure he cannot pass him easily. And they both have a good exit over there, but a bit of, uh, of a better exit from Caristas. And here comes Monica already because they're fighting. You lose so much time on this track if you're fighting. There is only one perfect line over here. Here yeah, they're gonna come. Let's look a little bit further back there. We have Jaden in 8, Rick 47 in 9, the Fisher in 10th, Kevin C in 11th, and then we have Shouty in 12th, and Concrete Tile all the way at the back. Arno and Quinn still fighting for the lead. Here they are. But no change yet. Then we have Hugo all on his own in no man's land. Then we have Tamil right now in no man's land, but here comes Kuristas yet again on Jopodex. He tries it on the outside because Jopodex puts up a defensive line. Kuristas on the outside. Can Jopodex hold it together? Can Kuristas hold it together? They're side by side. They leave each other enough space because you have to leave the space all the time. But because of this fighting, Marnik is right on that tail. Is this going to end up well coming out of the dead chicane? Who's going to have the best exit over there? There's a bit of a touch over there from the uh, into the wall from Jopodex and Kritzis as well. And Marnik can sweep in between both guys. Mine are good. To work. What a move. And he's in fifth. Wow. It's the replay. Did I send it or did I not? Did it send it? Take a look at this. What a move. First of all, here we have the defensive line from Jopodex versus Caristus. And Jopodex perfectly closes up to Caristus to make sure he doesn't get the perfect line out of here. And as we can see, they're side by side, but they're going to go single file into the first part of the dead chicane. And here they're going to come into the second part of the dead chicane and who's gonna oh chris has already touched the ball into the second part of the dead chicane has a little bit of a drift and as we can see right now yopodex is gonna hit the ball and chris is gonna have a massive slide over there so he drifts out light and monik can send it right in between right in between because he took it perfectly compared to the other two guys let's see that again and let's go Choo. Shoo! 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 Did I send it or did I not did it send it? Yes, you did! <laughs> oh. But the fight between Jopodex and Christus is still ongoing. Let's see a little bit further back. Jaden can close up as well because of that fight. And Rick147 is closing up as well. Holy shit! Rick147 is making a nice recovery. Kevin C as well. And we can see Rick147 flashing his lights over there to make sure. Yeah, Jaden I saw him and here comes Caristas on the outside right now into the first chicane is he gonna make that move stick oh Jopodex nearly touches Monik on the rear oh and that nearly goes well Jopodex has a little bit of a slide out of that and they're gonna go side by side into the fast right hander before the first happen here they're gonna come and Jaden is next to them as well oh and Caristas makes the move on the outside beautifully done nicely done so he does have awareness space <laughs> Here we have Jaden still in eighth, and Rick 47 just behind him. Oh, a little bit of a touch over there. Here they're gonna go side by side into the tight right handers, and there's gonna be a little bit of a touch. Oh, they're gonna go side by side. So far, that ends up well, but they're gonna lose time because they take different lines compared to the perfect line over there. Here comes Rick 47 into the hairpin on the inside of Jaden. He goes a little bit deep. Can Jaden perform the old switcheroo? Yes, he can. No, he can. He cannot. No. Okay, let's go a little bit further up front. I want to see how they do it. Oh, Quinn is backwards. No, the number two in this race. No, no, no. Front bumper damage and left front, front suspension damage. What are you doing? No! Ay, ay, ay. It's the replay. Let's get him up. Back, 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 Eddie, back. The Dachi King has another victim. And this time it's Quinn. Oh, and he's already in the lead. He was in the lead. I've missed that. How much further back was that? 
Meine Güte. What the hell? What did I miss? So many times we're playing, we're playing. Did Arno make a mistake in the death chicane as well? And is he gonna be a victim as well? You're a victim. Yeah, he's gonna be a victim of the wall on the outside. Whoa, and a huge push over there because of the mistake of Arno. And Quinn is not sorry for him. He helped him out a little bit. He even helped him out. Gain some speed. So Quinn is in the lead. But now we have to skip forward, forward, forward. Instead of back, 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 any back. We're going to go forward, 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 forward. forward. <laughs> For what? For what? Quinn in the lead right now. Let's get a boat with him. Whoa, huge wiggy 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 wobble over there. Hee hee hee. 13 and a half minutes in. Only four laps after this one to go. And here we're going to go. He's going to do the same. No. Yeah. He tries to avoid the second wall of the Dead Chicane. But does it so extreme that he's going to hit the outside of the Dead Chicane so massively that he spins around. Take a look at this. Here we're going to go into the first part of the Dead Chicane. Perfect. But. Runs a little bit wide over here. Thinks, holy shit, I have to steer a little bit more. Even touches the brake a little bit. And the car is unsettled because of the first part of... Nay, the second part, the first curb stone. And he's gone. Hits the wall. Spins it around. Yeah, that was a really bad spin. Uh, Quinn, I'm going to give you two or two and a half of that for that one. But take a look at that. He drops all the way back to fifth. Drops all the way back to sixth. To seventh. Oh, my Naguta. All the way behind Rick 147. Yes, he's going to drop back behind Rick 147. And behind Jaden as well. All the way back in ninth. My Naguta, you were in the lead, Queen. What are you doing? No! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get all the way back to Arno in the lead yet again on his own. Then we have Hugo in no man's land as well, the number two. Then we have Tamil in third. Then we have uh, Marnik back in fourth. He was nearly at the rear, or he was at the rear at the beginning of this race. Then we have Caristas in fifth. Jopodex closely behind him in sixth. Then we have Rick 47 on the hunt. Also, all the way at the back after the first or second lap. Uh, the same as in the first race in seven right now. Then we have Jaded in eighth, Queen in ninth. Then we have Kevin C in tenth. Then we have the Visser in eleventh and uh, Shouty in twelfth. And all the way at the back, Concrete Tile. Let's go all the way up front again. As I saw a battle forming up. No, not here, not here. Sorry, skipped a little bit too much. Did you? Yes, you did. Okay. Well, sometimes I have to. Did I send it or did I not? Did it send it? Here we have Mane closely following Tamil. Then we have Koristas and Jopodex fighting for fifth place. Let's see who's going to end up on the podium. Because if Arno and Hugo do not make mistakes, this is the only battle left. Or the only place for the podium left to fight for. Koristas went a little bit deep over there. Are we going to see any other mistakes or any other changes? Yeah, Rick 47 in front of Jade And, and Rick 47 has the speed closing up to Jopodex and Koristas. Is anybody going to hit the wall? Yes, Tamil hit the wall and Marnik passes him because of that. Perfectly on, perfectly executed. Out of the Dutch cane. Nicely anticipated. And then we have Christus, Jopodex, Rick 47, Quinn. And Quinn already passed Jaden out of the Dutch cane as well. Probably the same as Tamil and uh, Marnik had. Nicely done. Perfectly executed. Let's go a little bit further in front yet again. And let's see how that pans out. Oh, a little bit too much. Marnik already pulled out of the gap over Tamil. And Tamil is closely followed by Koristas right now. Is he going to make the move into the first UK? No, he's not. Who's going to break the latest? We still have three laps to go with this one included. Here they're going to go, and as we can see, Rick 147 is faster than Yopodex. Is he going to make that move into this fast right hand? No, into this tight happen. No, he's not. Yopodex with a little bit of a defensive line over there. Oh, and a huge slide of Caristus. Oh, yo, 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 that's not going to help you. Oh, and uh, Rick 147 is already side by side with Yopodex, but he's not going to make the move right now. Here they're going to come into the sweepers. Who's going to be faster? They're fighting all over the place. Here comes Rick 147 in the slipstream of Yopodex. 
And I believe everybody's in the slipstream of everybody. Here comes Coristas as well, trying it on to Mill, but he cannot make that move stick. He breaked a little bit later. Into the dead chicane. Let's do this again. Let's see if everybody makes it through. What a chicane this is. <laughs> oh, and everybody makes it through correctly and okay, but Coristas was the slowest out of that. So Yopodex can make a move into this last happen. And then we had a mistake of who? Jaden and Kevin C can make the pass on Jaden. Yes, he makes the move stick. And did anybody pass anybody? Oh, somebody goes wide over there. It's Rick 47. We'll have to see that again. First of all, that move from Kevin C on Jaden. I want to see that. Back, back, back in the back. It's out of the dead chicane. And it's Jaden. Oh, a little bit of a biggie wiggy biggie wobble. And it's just a better exit from Kevin C. He can make the move to the outside. Jaden doesn't put up a defense any defense and he's on the inside but let's see what happened over here and it's a replay and it's a replay and Yopalex had a huge light over there Rick 147 ran a, ran a little bit wide over there but kept his foot down Yopalex is in the slipstream right now this is the deficit for Rick 147 dives back into the slipstream the single file again flashes his lights to let his presence know that he is that he is that he is <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> oh, Yopanex goes a little bit wide over there, holds it together. These are fun little cars, aren't they? So we have Otto in the lead, uh, Fano still in the lead, Hugo still in second, and then we have this fight for third place. Marnik pulls out a little bit of a gap over Tamil, and then we have Koristas, Yopanex, and Rick 47. And behind that, we have Quinn, Kevin C, and Jaden. And here comes Rick of 47 and tries different lines compared to Yopodex to get a better exit and try to overhaul him into the first of the next hairpin. It's Yopodex gonna put up a defense. No, he does not. not. And here comes Rick of 47 on the inside. Can he make that move stick? Yes, he does. Whoa, it's tight. And there was a fight for fourth place as well between Tamil and Coristas oh a little bit of a wiggy 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 wobble over there from Jaden was it no it was from Quinn sorry is everybody going to survive the death she came right now oh no Coristas goes a little bit wide and Rick with 47 as well but he still has the better exit no he does not are uh, they going to push each other along uh, Coristas puts up a defensive line compared to Coristas here they're going to come and did everybody had a good exit yes Kevin C is going to put the move on oh what happened to Yopanex what happened to Yopanex what did you do? You dropped back way too far. You were over here. Here we had that fight between uh, Coristas and Rick 47. If you went a little bit too deep or you went absolutely ridiculously slow. So Quinn could pass you and Kevin C into this happen. Oh, yo, 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 yo. He lost a place to Rick 47, Quinn and Kevin C in half a lap. That's not good. I know you can do better, but oh, here we go. Quinn and Rick 47 are off. No! But it's that replay. Let's get on board with Rick 47. What are you doing, dude? Why? 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 You had that fight with Coristas, of course. We saw that already. But let's see what happened. At the last moment, you're going to take the racing line. And you're going to cut back, cut deep try to turn out as fast as possible but go a little bit too wide run into the grass and Quinn is gonna copycat you why why is a replay is a replay <laughs> yes he's gonna copycat you exactly so Coristas gains back fifth place and Kevin C has the opportunity to pass Rick 47 for fifth place and here he comes or for sixth place I must say here he comes and he's already in sixth place here comes Jopodax he can gain uh the two places he lost already back and he's side by side with Rick 47 and tries out on the inside of Kevin C here he comes can he make that move stick no he cannot Kevin C holds his ground perfectly done and they let each other live into this first chicane let's go a little bit further in front because we have Marnik a loose as well so we have the top three loose it's the last lap already then we have Tamil in fourth here's Caristas in fifth closely followed by Kevin C and he brace checks over there wow he went absolutely ridiculously slow into that corner. Let's see Kevin C. Let's see from the perspective of Yopadex. 
It's a replay! Oh, Kevin C breaks a little bit late over there. There we are. So we bump drafts him, but that's going to give you open next to the inside for that hairpin. And they're going to go side by side into the sweepers. Here they're going to come and they're going to go side by side as well. Jaden Pass, Rick 147 for eighth place. And oh, there's going to be a touch over there. And he's going to push oh, Jaden White. And it is a spin. Oh, and that's done. Yep. Holy shit, balls of fires. What happened over there? Blood stop replay. Let's get a book with Jaden. Back, 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 it back, 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 it back. Let's get a book with the, uh, Chase Confu. Yes, Chase Confu. And we can see it perfectly over here. We have Quinn still behind over here. Rico 47 and Kevin C went a little bit wide over there. So Yopadex and Jaden, who are we following, can pass both a car. So Yopadex is in six right now. Kevin C is in seven, but Kevin C has a greater exit or a better exit and can repass Yopadex into the sweepers for sixth place and they slot in behind each other. And now we have Rick 47 just behind uh, Jaden and there's a little bit of a touch over there, puts it into a spin and there is a huge spin and it's done for Jaden. Okay, let's continue and well, let's see how it ends up further up ahead. Up ahead. I must tell you, by the way, that was net coding because on the replay of Rig 147, there was no touch. And during the corner, uh, when Rig 147 touched me, there was suddenly no force feedback for me. There was a bit of force feedback, but weirdly, as if there is nearly none. And suddenly, poof, there was a hit and I turned around. So there was a bit of weird network, network of, yeah, net coding, how it's called. It didn't went correctly over there. So that's all forgiven. Shit happens. That's the internet, right? Okay, but as we can see, Otto still in the lead. Can he make it through the dead chicane? Yes, he can. And let's see, Hugo is still a second. Then we have Monik in third. Then we have Tamil still a fourth. Then we have Caristus in fifth. Kevin C is sixth. Jopodex in seventh. And Quinn in eighth. And is anybody going to overtake anybody? Is anybody going to crash the last time into the dash again? Yes, it's Quinn yet again. What are you doing? Dude. Yet again. No! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Did I send it or did I... You've said, oh, and somebody else is backwards as well. Jopodex as well. No! <laughs> oh, you guys, come on. What are you doing? Last lap. You're in seventh place, Jopodex. What are you doing? And Quinn as well. Let's see from the perspective of Quinn so we can see the crash of Quinn and Jopodex together. There's a replay. Here we go. Poof. Oh, we couldn't see the crash of Yopadex. Now we can see it. And Rick 147 takes all the risk in the world yet again. But we'll have to see the crash of Yopadex as well. There's a replay. There's a replay. Backwards, 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 back, 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 back. Now we can skip a little bit further forward. Here it is. Coming out of this. Oh, it's unsettling of the car on the curbs. And then a huge grind into the wall, into Berriard. Huge damage for these two guys. And Shouty can gain another two places. Holy shit, balls of fire. So yes, here we have Ono. A perfect start to the season. A two wins in a row. Yet again from him. Perfectly driven. Nicely done, dude. There you go. First for him. Hugo coming home in second. The runner-up. Oh, no. The third from last season. Coming home in second in the second race. And then we have Marnie coming home in third. Yet again. No, he came fourth. Then we have Tamil in fourth. Then we have Kevin C in fifth. And Chris is in sixth. How did... Oh, sorry. How did Kevin C still ended up in fifth? I believe he gained another place. Yes, he did. Oh, oh, oh. How did he do that? Holy shit. Oh, my screen just quit it for a second. Here he comes. And start replay! <laughs> Here he comes. He forces Caristus narrow. Tries to take the outside. Caristus goes a little bit wide over there. In onto the uh, on the inside with an old switcheroo. Perfectly driven from Kevin C. Here he comes to the line. Coming home in fifth. 
Nice recovery, dude. Nice recovery. Curtis is in sixth. Then we have Rick 47 coming home in seventh. Nice recovery as well. Then we have Shouty with a good eighth place. Good recovery as well. A lot of mistakes, but that's unfortunate with that shitty chicane. The Fisher in ninth. Then we have Yopodex in tenth. Quinn in eleventh. And Concrete Tal quit it and is in the pit right now. And Jaden quit it as well. Woo! Nearly two hours. Mine a good day. That was a nice start to the season, wasn't it? Holy shit, balls of fire. A lot of disgusting things going on. <laughs> Mine a good day. <laughs> yeah, boy. Ay, 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 ay. Whew. How should we call this one? Ah, first of all, we have to do this. Let's add another source. Why shouldn't we? Let's do another screen capture. Add a new one. Let's call it. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. I'm going to go all the way up here. Oop. Oop. Yeah. Nice. Maybe that's better. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, morning. Definitely. Chaotic, but mostly clean. True. Mostly clean. <laughs> Most likely. Sorry for adding all this, but I have to do that to make sure my game capture is better. So yeah, as you can see right now, here we have the chip, chip standings. Bloody hell. Here we have the chip, chip standings, and as you can see, because of the two perfect scores of uh, Ono, he is in the lead with 30 points right now. I don't know who got the fastest lap. Was it Rick 147? Let's see. Because it's not purple, but I believe, yeah, Rick 147 in the first race. He had an extra point over there. And Quinn in the second race. He had an extra point over there. So, Otto in the lead with 30 points. Then we have Monik. More reasonably close following with 25 points. Or 25 points in total. And then we have Kevin C with a 24 points. And um, both Monik and Kevin C could have done better without any crashes. But yeah, who didn't crash in that death chicken? Then we have Hugo solidly driven along in fourth place. Then we have Rick147, our champion, our reigning champion, in fifth with 21 points. Then we have Quinn, uh, who, yeah, who didn't compete that much last year. He's in 6th right now. Then we have Tamil in 5th with 17 points. Then we have uh, Yopodex in 8th with 16 points. And then we have Shouty in 9th with 14 points. Shout out to Shouty for the championship standings. But shout out to Denny the Fizzer as well for making all this. And then we have Jaden with 12 points in 10th. Then we have the Visser in 11th with 11 points and Concrete Tile 11th with 12 points. And as we can see right now, there is a zero points for Coristus because he got disqualified for the second race and he only has three points right now. So yeah, that all includes everything That were, those were the two races. What a chaos. And as I said, last season we've driven on the Dragon Trail as well. But there was Gardens. And as I said, we should have driven this tra track. And why? You could see why. Everybody has a love-hate relationship with this track. And the Chicane of Death. 
never disappoints. Never, ever disappoints. So yeah, it was really fun to do this. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. And so yeah, I think that includes everything. I'm going to wish you a nice evening. Thanks for watching and have a good one.